Okay, hum buns lie. Let's get into it. Today is day one of the Heal Zone. I'm sorry. Heal Zone 31 Day Challenge. Name your hurt and defy your comfort zone 2018. So day one basically says, how do you plan to live your best life? What do you see yourself doing? I actually said investing more time in Christ. By knowing him, I will understand myself. I got off a of track when I started, when God started blessing me back on track now. Basically what I mean by that is um, last year, if you go back to some of my, um, well, if you go back to my bet, I got baptized February of last year. And like I said, when coming out of 2015 and 16, like those were really, was it 16, 15, 16, yeah, 15, 16, 16. I think it was like 15, 16. It was, those were some rough years for me. Um, I lost a lot of people. A lot of things happened like in my life that just made me think about just life period. So, um, I decided that at that time, like I said, I got baptized when I think I was like 11 or 12. So being, uh, how old was I last year? I'm about to be 37. I'm not counting. I'm not. I think I'm counting right. But wait, I'm about to be 37. So last year I was 36. Actually, I was 35 when I got baptized because I had not turned my 36th birthday. So 35 was right. Okay. Okay. So my calculations were right. I was 35. So I felt like that I've been through enough. And I feel like, you know, I guess coming from a background where i our foundation was god and my grandfather being a preacher like you know we were taught about god so what i think you really know but like somebody can testify to you you can hear a testimony but until you actually have your own testimony that takes it to a whole nother level you think differently you feel different about situations i believe you become less judgmental when you go through things because like i said about even with domestic violence it's one of those you know i, I could never that could never be me that's something in life where you will say that that could never be my child or something like that and the lord will put it in your life where it is your child and what what do you do at that point so basically my walk with christ this year going forward and when i said that i backed down i'm not gonna lie to you god bless me so tremendously when i say tremendously for 2017 I, I'm talking about bringing in 2017. The end of the 2016 was shaky. I'm talking about I lost my it relationship. It was like a lot of things that happened to me in 2016, and it was like a rough year for me. So I had I had a lot of soul searching to do. A lot of it was just a lot. When I say a lot, it was a lot. So 17 God like really blessed. But I'm also talking about as far as my job, my old job had me away from my family. I will spend time with my family, my kids. It was just a lot at that time. Um, what else? So I got blessed with a new job. Um, my relationship got better. We end up mending. To a certain degree, it's still there. They have we still have some issues, but for the most part, we are healing. Um, um, it was just like I said, it was a lot, and God started blessing me. I was going to church every Sunday. I was doing Bible study via um, television, and it's just like once i got blessed i got too busy and i know that's what happens a lot and i think sometimes you know I, they do say don't always blame the devil but the distraction was there and i think it was the materialistic distraction that was there for me so i'm at a point where i appreciate the things that god god has blessed me with so what i'm going to do is invest myself in him more because when i when i was 
I was less angry. Like I started becoming a little bit more anger, angry. My roll rate <laughs> just getting back up there. Um, the cursing it really never stopped. Um, it's on and off. It's it's controlled because when I'm at work, I work two jobs now. When I when my when I'm at work, I don't. Or if it is, it's filtered. So, I mean that's that's what I mean when I say I want to get better when it comes to Christ and. If I don't watch church Sunday, I will watch the repeat Monday. I take my notes and I go back over them. And one thing I will say is that when I pray for things, God actually, I, I swear, I don't know. He knows me and I feel like he knows everybody. But I just feel like when I pray for things, he, in the sermon, I swear when I tell you I swear like I pray about something and it was on my mind heavy heavy and I was like Lord I need you to lift this burden and I just I need a sign I need a prayer and when I tell you the preacher preached about the exact thing that I was talking about and debating with so I feel like if you put it in the air God will send it we just have to be still to hear and receive it so that was day one i know that was a little bit lengthy but uh that was what day one consists of 